widespread um, distribution of a vaccine or plural vaccine. Governor Eric Holcomb joining doctors who are excited about the prospect of that coronavirus vaccine. Yeah, lots of encouragement and hope tonight as questions surrounding herd immunity do arise. Fox 59's Courtney Crown explores why those on the front lines say that's not the solution. A mask fatigue population is desperate for answers to end the virus. Healthcare professionals insist removing mandates and health recommendations to see what happens is not a solution. It concerns us as medical professionals to think about what we would have to deal with and potentially see if this virus is just allowed to run amok. Herd immunity or population immunity is when enough people within a community are either vaccinated or immune from the virus. Therefore, it can't spread. And people don't know how long immunity can last. We have had some case reports of people getting the infection a couple times. Uh, though those case reports have been rare, they have occurred. Along with overwhelmed hospitals, doctors also point to the mortality rate and serious symptoms associated with COVID-19. It's impacting the elderly and those with certain health conditions. And today, State Health Commissioner Christina Box reported the new cases are tracked back to the 18 to 30 age group. We are seeing younger, more healthy people who we virtually never see die of flu. Uh, die of, of COVID. Healthcare experts are hopeful about the prospects of the vaccines. Unfortunately, much is not known about the long-term protections. Yes, it might be very effective at preventing people from getting COVID. We don't know how long that's going to last. So if that lasts for six months, then are we going to be on a twice a year vaccination schedule? We have to weather what is a couple tough months ahead of us. Um, and then we will see you know, a vaccine around the corner, and, and that is the end game. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. Well, doctors also say until widespread treatment and vaccines are available, masking, social distancing, and hand washing are the best defense we have to protect our community. They add, since many COVID-19 carriers are asymptomatic, the masks help stop the spread.